Hello, everyone. Today is um, uh, Sunday, actually, 4.30, so April 30th, 2023. It is uh, the last day of uh, the month. Uh, tomorrow we get a we we start a new month, uh, May. So we welcome it because uh, <laughs> you know um, April wasn't uh, a a very clean um, month. It was uh, and, and uh, until probably the last uh, couple of uh, of uh, uh, days or the last week. But uh, the rest of the of the month was really horizontal and very rangy. So hopefully you survived, and um, and um, and uh, I wish you a a really good uh, May uh, month for your trading. So uh, before I get started, let me remind you uh, that to subscribe, like, and share this um, uh, channel uh, means a lot to me. So if you go down there and click the sub subscribe button, that that would be awesome. And also a like, and, and if you can share this one with your friends, that would be, uh, great. If, especially if you have, um, a, um, a community of traders, um, also check the links below. Uh, there's, uh, some, uh, good, um, opportunities. The first one is apex, uh, is the uh, provider, I use for um, for additional accounts. So you see, I do have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight accounts. Um, which one of them is actually my own? So um, uh, so the Apex accounts are uh are the ones that that i just uh, show you there now uh they also you have um a, a link for discord and also um uh a, a a blog that i that i normally post there so discord server is a good uh, way for you to get in touch with the community and uh, i try i'm i'm um in the near future i'm going to start uh a community of uh, what I called uh, um, a Renko masters, so people that are using Renko uh, basically for for entries. So hopefully you can join that uh, that group uh, and um, uh, or that server. And uh, there's more to come on that one. Uh, so let's uh, get started. Um, I'm going to say I'm gonna uh, go and, and and look at what happened in the. Uh, ES first. I did not make any trades uh, in this one. There's uh, one trade here at uh, 10 a.m. that that you could have taken. Uh, there is a uh, an overnight uh, 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 resistance here. Uh, you can see it right there. Uh, that one there coins. Uh, it's uh, very close to the uh, to that uh, entry on the uh, 30 minutes uh, opening range. I did not take it, but you could have the first entry right there. That would have been a good, uh, a, a good uh, trade. There was uh, some resistance at this level here and at that level right here as well. So um, it, it was kind of risky. The problem with this, if you see this, is that, uh, that uh, the uh, momentum indicator is already a little bit extended, but there was some good force moving up there so that would have been a good entry all the way up here to the for uh 4177 level now there is if you see here there is a uh a previous high so when you go in and enter this uh trade uh if you have taken that that one there then there is a a resistance here but it went through with almost no problem all the way up so it went above the um the um the previous high level all the way to uh this area here as i said 47 41 77 kind of the way where it make a double top right there and came back so this one here came back uh, to the moving average there is uh, an entry here as well uh with a little bit of uh, of uh, wiggle so you have you could have been stopped there if you moved your your um stop uh, with the with the uh, bars there um you never know this one was already extended so it went up there and came back then it came to uh, this uh, uh, 4150 level 
uh, critical also it came back I, there's no entry for me here i don't see any any entry until you have that that uh, entry there and this one happens at at uh, uh for some reason this uh this uh, some of the moves are happening after 11:30 uh this one is 11 so it's also kind of like in the limit of uh of taking trades for me uh that one there right so by by 11 so um i i would i would say that it's it was uh no there, there's no uh trigger there there's no setup for me in this area and then it started to move uh along all the way to the till the afternoon until the the day um uh, was over so you see that there is a a nice move here after this uh i do have also the um the 30 minutes chart right here so there is a nice move in the first uh, when when it broke the one the 4150 and then try to come back a little bit i'm i'm pointing uh out um i'm not uh, i'm not sure if you were following me but i'm talking about this one so you have the 30 minutes uh uh, uh initial uh, uh move there the break off of this area right here this uh top and then move nicely all the way to the to the upside and that that is this uh, move uh right here so hopefully you you were able to catch it i did not and um i could have but uh you know for me um I, this this was uh kind of like i i hesitated and i did did not take advantage of it that happens so that that's that's good um let me go to um to the the um the mistakes i made in crude and this one is probably a good a good lesson for you as well so first of all patience 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 and that that is something that you have to uh learn uh in here sometimes you see the setup but th it is not the right time to take it and uh and unfortunately, I I was I I kind of woke up a little bit earlier early on um, on uh, Friday, so I was uh, very early on my computer, and I started to see this move there. Uh, you see that there's a level. Let me open this one a little bit more. So there is a uh, at. I was uh, here at 8 a.m. when I saw at 8 a.m. this move, this uh, week out of the um, week, week out of the uh, uh, moving average. In this case, the uh, 34 EMA, right? So you have that uh, that uh, uh, week there, and I, I entered the trade at 8 a.m. Uh, at 8 a.m. kind of exactly thinking, okay. Look at this level. We are at seventy five uh, at seventy five dollars, moving upwards. So seventy five, and then when it when it, it, we were at seventy five uh, twenty, right there, right. So seventy five twenty was kind of like that level, and I and I and I felt okay. Seventy five twenty four, which where I where I took it. I I uh, I'm looking for a move to the other side of this. Uh, of this um, um, range. Uh, let, let, let me talk uh, uh, about the range again. So this is what I painted on the range on the overnight. So uh, I was kind of like looking at this pivot here. There, this one, a clear, clear overshoot up here, and then a clear overshoot down below here. So um, I, I put my uh, my range right there thinking okay this one it's going to either come back or it's going to move to the other side of this of this um, uh, uh, vacuum here let's let's put it that way this this area here that has uh, kind of no no um this this would be my le next level of support and and surely enough it came up here in this area here we're going to talk about that uh, later on but uh, let's focus on on this one here so i thought okay the, it, this uh, crude is going to move before the market opens all the way there so i was not patient and and i, and I did take it and i was punished right there i took it and immediately came back for maximum loss right there so that one was a 230 dollars loss in one contract so um not good uh i kind of like uh 
was a little bit frustrated, so just uh, went out and uh, left my computer, just do the thing, went for a walk, and then came back uh, when when uh, uh, when the market. Uh, I mean, this is was I was uh, started to wait until uh, the the market had a little bit more direction. Still, I I I, I thought that uh, uh, crude was going to move higher, and uh, and so um, the 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 next uh, trade I made was um, this one here, right? So you see that I wait until the 30 minutes close and then around 10, because there was a, a little bit of congestion here, uh, or there is congestion, not a little bit, but there is congestion. Remember that this is the area, the magnet area of the range. I, I defined it before uh, before the market opened. So there, the, the market was still in the range. Uh, and then uh, uh, there was a little bit of, of uh, uh, the market tried to go up here in this area, but uh, but I do have some good resistance all the way up here. So I needed to wait a little bit more. So I, I wait until in, 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 in this case, um, uh, I was kind of rewarded here. Uh, I could have uh, make more than that, but uh, the, my, because I, I was looking at my target was up here, right? So I took it right in there when just when the market broke the uh, 30 minutes uh, opening range, went up and then came back and then it stopped me out right there. Okay, so that one was a uh, hundred and thirty dollars uh, that I recovered from the two thirty um, uh, initially. So I was kind of like a hundred and twenty dollars down now. Now um, the the other uh, trade uh, I took was immediately this, and this one was really a um, a, a uh, riskier trade. Let's put it that way. Uh, no, I'm not going to say a mistake, but it, do, it didn't follow the rules. If you see here, there is a um, there a, there is a um, reverse. Yeah, I can I can tell it reverse of the um, uh, fast and slow line lines in the uh, in the in in the um, momentum indicator. Right. So um, so I took it right there, went up all the way to the uh, to the other side of this uh, line and then came back. And I, I, I didn't just as I didn't sell it right there. I should probably have uh, have been more, um, you know, conservative and then uh, and then sell it up here before this one. But I, I really was uh, bullish in, in crude. So I just, uh, you know, put a, a, a larger uh, target right there, but it came back. So I lost in this one only $20. Um, but, um, but, uh, so, so that one was kind of like, uh, okay, a bummer. Now momentum came back and now we are in the zone. Uh, and then I took this trade right here again. So again, expecting that this one was going to, at, at some point was going to move. Now it, it is ranging, right? Uh, you, you do have a, this is a divergence and you have to pay attention to this. Uh, so you have divergence. Or, or higher, a higher high off of that higher high right there. So you have a higher high and a higher high, and then you have a higher low right here. Uh, come on, right here you have a higher low, and here you have kind of like a a, a double bottom right here, right? Very similar low in this area here. So uh, you you could you could argue that this one was kind of preparing its bullish entry and then but the problem is that when you have a I'm, I'm sorry when you have here a I want to change the color so when you have here a double uh, a, a higher high and here you have a uh, lower high right here then you have divergence so i think that the divergence was completed when uh when this one was moving to the double to bottom so i took this trade anyways it went up came back down and i was stopped at 20 dollars again so 40 dollars in between these two trades okay so then i said okay so i'm i'm kind of like 
back, uh, no doubt. So let me see one, uh, let's see two, three and four. I am $160 uh, underwater now. Uh, not that much, but, uh, but still, I mean, I was a little bit frustrated because I knew that at some point crude was going to move up. And then um, I wait and they said, okay, we are in the range. So I recognize this range right here, right? And then um, I was not going to take this one again um, in there. Probably a mistake, but I needed to wait a little. I, I decided to wait a little bit um, be, because, uh, you know, the, you, you do have here, the, you can argue that you have here a, uh, a triple uh, bottom here. So uh, very nice and clear resistance. So this one would have been a good probably uh, entry right there. I decided to wait until it went out of the range, which sometimes being conservative is, is uh, much better. So what I did is to go and, and took the, the entry right there. You see that there is a, um, right here, there is a, um, a resistance. Um, again, we are below this uh, area of extension. So I took this trade and it went all the way up here. And then I, uh, since I was uh, still bullish on, in, in crude, I, I decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to see if it runs a little bit more. I didn't sell it at the end of the, at the end of this uh, range. Uh, I just uh, wait until it came back and, and stopped me out. And surely enough, it stopped me out right there. So that one was a $550, um, um, $550 uh, trade uh, for one contract, right? So that means that I am, let me see, um, I am $390 up in in crude so that and then and then i said okay i'm 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 fini i'm finishing my day uh with that recovery uh i'm okay uh and then and then market started to wiggle around i was expecting crude to go a little bit uh farther but uh, if you see the uh, <clears throat> let me share with you something i do have also uh let me see if i can this is my daily, I'm going to show you guys my daily chart uh, that I put out of, uh, out of uh, Thinkorswim. Okay, so the, in this uh, trade platform is, uh, the one that you are looking at, is um, uh, Ninja Trader. But I do have also, I, I do see, uh, I do have in my uh, chart, I, uh, or in, my, in one of my screens, I do have this, uh, daily chart and also 15 minutes chart uh in 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 gold and in crude and uh, and all of that so what i saw here was that okay so crude has been moving uh down nicely in the last uh, several days and now it's uh, it's bullish so um uh this is the break that we were discussing but there's a nice um uh, resistance right uh, right in this area right you see that uh, here you do have this is my 30 minutes chart i mean my 30 minutes uh uh moving average and this one is my 10 uh, uh, uh moving average so this one is two lines on exponential moving averages on the i'm sorry 34 and 8 and 8 so this is what i monitor here and you see that that one there that dot that I, uh, I put in here is actually resistance. So I was not going to trade crude until it moved uh, uh, back uh, into this uh, $80 uh, area right here, which is for me now the target. I think that uh, that uh, for what I see in the chart, this could easily go, uh, uh, it closed the gap right here, right here, close the gap, um, that happened in the last three days, but came back to the gap now. And, and what, I, what I see is that there's a good probability that, uh, that this one is going to move back again to the 80, 80 85 dollars and probably beyond that afterwards. So yeah, so that one is there and, one, and I'm gonna show you what I have also in my 15 minute chart. 
uh, in in thinkorswim, uh, and then you see that uh, that uh, what, it, what that was the move in the fifteen minutes that I that I took advantage of in right here. But I, but I started to to trade right here, thinking that uh, the 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 price was going to move early in the morning all the way up here instead of what I did, which was after ten a.m. All right. So hopefully you can take advantage of that additional um, uh, information or bonus or whatever. All right, so that is uh, that is uh, the trade again, um, three hundred and ninety dollars. Now I did make one more mistake, and that one was in um, in gold as well. So I'm a little bit bearish on gold, um, just because of the move uh, that have, have. I'm gonna show you my um my chart on the daily in gold again as well so <coughs> there is a good possibility that this two thousand dollar label or two thousand uh, dollar level for uh gold uh, moves down but it but you have here the the um thursday range was in uh, two th in between 2013 and 2082. So um, you know, I think that uh, you know there's a good uh, support right here, but there's also resistance up up in this area right here. So you go, um, you can it can go either way. Um, my my bias because of the momentum is is descending that uh, this move could continue, right? So this move. Could uh, could continue? Why? Because what happened normally? Uh, let me see. So what happened is that you have an initial move here, then you have a a range, and and then you have a break. So probably you know I can I can draw it like this. But uh, so you have go going into the range, then wiggle around, and then break to the same direction as as it as it goes. But on the the, the bullish case would be that yes we are we've been moving up and then um and then uh we are in the range and then we are breaking up here but this break happens right there but it failed came back uh, down to this to this uh break here so what i what i uh, i imaginatively will in <laughs> okay Imaginatively, so with a lot of imaginations, I cannot say that word. So you can you can uh, look at the the this one as a uh, let's see as a head and shoulder, right? So with a lot of imagination again, because it's not so. But you can have this one here. Coming back here, go up there, coming back down there, try to go up there and then come back. So at some point, I think that this could uh, could uh, result in a move to the downside in uh, in uh, gold if we are rejecting the two thousand. Anyway, so uh, until that happened, probably I should stay away from uh, gold. I have taken advantage. If you have been following my uh, my uh, trade uh, my channel uh, I, I have been taking advantage of some of the trades in gold uh this this uh, month so uh and staying away from es and uh, nq uh it's been a little bit choppy for me on that one well what i what uh, so my bias was to the downside and rejecting the 2000 so there is a nice rejection here in this uh, pivot here and it went down but for me this one is a, a counter trend trade so I'm not taking those, uh, and I thought, okay, this one is going to break to the downside. Big mistake! It punished me right there, right uh, there, and I lost uh, one hundred and ninety dollars um, <coughs> because it it, re <coughs> it reversed on me on the next bar. So yeah, not 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 a good trade. Uh, now you have a triple bottom right here. Going again into the uh, 2000 level, this was a, a, could have been a good entry. How do you take this one? There is another strategy that I I I, I do have, and sometimes I take is when you have this, uh, you have a top, a top, a top, a top, and, and then a break, right? So you see that uh, that diagonal that it's coming back after it ranges a little bit, right? 
but it's not in one of my four uh, usual trades. And then and then you have this uh, this move to the upside. So um, also you can you can argue that this one here would have been also a trend reversal breakout. Um, so so you get that move, this move, this move, and then you have a break out of that line all the way up there. Anyways, I did not take this trade. I just uh, le left it by itself uh, when I when I uh, lost uh, the one hundred and ninety dollars there. So overall, I was two hundred dollars uh, positive, and now I, if you see, I'm multiplying um, this uh, for the number of contracts in my uh, a, in my accounts uh, for twenty two hundred dollars uh, profit this on Thursday, which is okay. I mean, it's it's not horrible, but it's uh, but it's but it's fine. And if you if you consider one day of two thousand dollar of two thousand dollars. That it's much better than 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 working somewhere else for somebody else. So this is this is actually I'm 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 happy and especially I'm happy because I I was able to recover um, uh, from losses uh, with uh, with this uh, uh, nice uh, uh, trade um, on 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 gold, which was uh, five hundred and fifty dollars, which is which was nice. It, it recovered me from a probably a a loss day. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and um, see you next time. And remember to check the, um, the links um, for this uh, video in the, uh, in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.